supposed to be Might be as elusive as it's close to me She's been feeling further than a Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barbara. So today we are going to talk about how to not edit your YouTube videos. Yeah, I said it. How to not edit your YouTube videos. I'm not like a big influencer or anything, but like these are some of the things that I have been doing that have been helping me stay consistent uh, for the past, I don't know, three weeks now. So if you are someone, a small YouTuber and you would like to know more about this, just stay tuned and... Uh, yeah, I remember when I started with YouTube, I was struggling with staying consistent and editing because I'm not a good editor and like it was just taking so much of my time and it was really um, not encouraging me to be consistent at all. I even went as hard and as far as getting like an editor and all of that. It's just too much. It takes so much of my time and it's just very discouraging. But lately I have developed this plan or like idea of like shooting, ways of shooting and how to like implement them and how to actually stay consistent and it's been kind of helping for a while. It's been helping so that's why I wanted to share this. Um, tips with you all. The first thing on this list is plan your videos. Plan your videos and know what you want to talk about before you even think about whatever. I know that is something that you already have into perspective but planning your videos ahead of time will help you go faster and just you know what I mean. Number two, have a script. Having a script is literally going to help and easing your worries. It's going to make life so easy for you have a script if you are someone like me that like blabs a lot when talking on camera have a script and know word to word what you want to say if you flow easily that's great that would even make it it would even make it like go faster for you so having a script is very good so the third thing on the list is shoot in the manner of your script so maybe like step one you're gonna have your intro step two is the main um topic that you want to talk about you go straight to the main topic Topic and then so on and so forth like you don't waste time and then when you're shooting you don't shoot continuously so you shoot your intro and then you cut the camera and then you come again and you shoot your um, second part which is like your main topic so if let's say you have like 10 topics that you want to talk about you shoot number one topic number one then you end it make sure like you are okay with it before you go to the next one then so on and so forth that way it's easier to like put them in cut cut and then just add your um your intros and your outros and you just add them together and you you're basically gonna have to make like a little bit of editing like you are just gonna cut the awkward part out but it's not gonna be as much as it used to be so you do that it goes faster it goes easier and then it makes you stay on your game okay or have a customized intros and outros and fonts that you like to use so you don't have to like uh, uh, make a new intro make a new outro add in new fonts all the time you are trying to like edit have them saved on your phone or on your gadget, whatever. Um, so as soon as you go to like put your videos together, you just put your intro, your already customized intro. You add your videos, you add your outro, the fonts. Um, if you want to add like extra information to like captions to the video, you just have your already made fonts and then you just put on the CapCut is making things so easy with the AI generated stuff so just hit on captions and then everything will just come out for you so easy so simple so you don't really have to like get frustrated as much <laughs> now let's talk about thumbnails your thumbnail shouldn't take about more than 10 minutes it shouldn't even be up 10 minutes if you have like a customized um, thumbnail already in Canva. I'm sure everybody uses Canva to make their thumbnails but you can also use CapCut to make like you know edit to your thumbnails and stuff. It's very easy and straightforward. If you have if you already have like a customized um, thumbnail. I have a customized thumbnail for my Instagrams. I have a customized thumbnail for my YouTube. So all I go in is just change the pictures 
and then just put in my titles um, that's what I do for my YouTube so it's much more easy everybody can do it you can ask your brother to do it your boyfriend your husband all they have to do is put in your new topic and then you just change replace the picture with like a new picture I'll show how I do mine it's very easy very straightforward all you have to do is have a customized fonts that you like to use and have a customized settings or like you know the way you like your pictures or thumbnails to look like so I know with this tip you still have to do some little type of editing but it's not gonna be as much as it will be like it's not gonna be as tedious and as hard and as time consuming as it would be but once you have like just have those things in places and uh, have your steps and just put them together and it should be good I'm also trying to like work on my consistency I feel like this has been helping me and also you don't have to be posting every day on YouTube once in a week it should be good this is something that I realized that has been working for me and I just wanted to share so I hope like this helps someone out there also have a YouTube channel but like the editing part is always taking them out or discouraging them this method will literally help you um, save time and then help you be more consistent if you have any more ideas and opinions leave a comment down below and let me know but I hope you actually like that if if you do don't forget to share subscribe and have a good one supposed to be like the answer Lucifer is close to me she's been feeling further